Pisces, which means fish in Latin, is a complex and interesting constellation. Pisces depicts two fish tied together in the night sky. In the study of astrology, Pisces is known as the twelfth sign of the zodiac. There are several different versions of the mythological story about Pisces. The most popular comes from Greek mythology and Syrian mythology. In the Greek version, a powerful monster named Typhoon threatens the gods. Aphrodite and her son Eros turn themselves into two fish and escape Typhoon. They tie their tails together so that they don't get separated along the way. In the Syrian version, Aphrodite and Eros were rescued by two fish that they rode when fleeing Typhoon. And in some other versions, Aphrodite and Eros turn themselves into half man, half fish to quickly flee Typhoon. Who really knows if the stories are true or which one is correct? However, it is still very difficult to see what they saw when looking at Pisces in the sky. Do you see two fish tied together? Pisces lies between Aquarius to the west and Aries to the east and is below Pegasus. The best time to view Pisces is during the month of November around 9 p.m. Pisces does not have any stars brighter than the fourth magnitude. The brightest star in the constellation is called the Alferg star. It is a bright class C giant star with a faint companion lying approximately 294 light years from Earth. The star's luminosity is 316 times that of the Sun. The second brightest star in the constellation is called the Gamma Star. It is a yellow giant approximately 130 light years away from Earth. The third brightest star in the constellation is called the Alresha star. It marks the point where the cords joining the tails of the two fish are knotted together. It consists of a close pair of white dwarfs. Pisces has one spiral galaxy, Messier 74 or M74 NGC 628. This star-forming region is half the width of our full moon and 32 million light-years away. It is estimated to contain over 100 billion stars, and two supernovas have been recorded. It was discovered in September of 1780 by Charles Messier. The planetary nebula NGC 246 is near Pisces, but more so in the constellation Cetus. However, it is partially in Pisces and is also the only planetary nebula within Pisces. It is roughly 2,000 light years away and has a central white dwarf star within it. Pisces has one main blue sequence star called Beta Pisicum. It has a magnitude of 4.53 and is about 492 light years away. It is also called Fum al-Shamaka, which is Arabic for mouth of the fish. Pisces contains a yellow main sequence dwarf called Iota Pisicum. It is approximately 45 light years away and is suspected to be a variable star. Van Manen's star is an interesting object in Pisces. It is the nearest single white dwarf to the sun and the 31st closest star system. Van Manen's star is only 14.1 light years distance from the Sun and was named after Adrian Van Manen, the Dutch astronomer who discovered it in 1917. Take a night and try to find Pisces in the sky. Even though it only has one spiral galaxy and no irregular galaxies, and is actually quite small compared to other constellations. It is still very unique and worth looking at. 
Sometimes the problem is just finding it. Day and night. I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't attain. What I need for keeps this silly game we play. play. Now look at this. Madness the magnet keeps attracting me. I try to run, but see, I'm not that fast. I think I'm first, but surely finish last. Cause day and night All alone And the sun went down As across the hill And the town lit up The world got still